The United States' permission for Ukraine to use long-range Atoms missiles on Russian territory may influence the decision of the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on the issue of sending additional troops to help the occupiers in the Kursk region. However, this concerns the effective use of this type of weapon against units from North Korea, notes Valerie Ryabik, director of development of the information and consulting company Defense Express of Ukraine. Supporting the operations of the Ukrainian defense forces in the Kursk direction may be the main area of use of Atoms, he said in a comment to Espresso. Especially in conditions when the enemy has the task of increasing efforts to displace the Ukrainian defense forces from the territory of the Russian Federation, in particular from the Kursk region. And especially against the background of the fact that for these purposes they are also attracting units of the North Korean army, Ryabik emphasized. According to him, the leader of the DPRK can change the decision to send additional troops only after the utilization of most of those troops that are already in the Kursk region, with the help of Atoms. Because first and foremost, the same North Korean dictator needs troops that will return with new experience, and not in coffins, the expert believes. He also stated that, in addition to this, there are hundreds of other targets within a distance of up to 300 kilometers that need to be destroyed in order to influence the situation on the battlefield. Media previously reported that lifting restrictions on Atoms is of great importance for the end game. U.S. President Joe Biden's lifting of restrictions on the use of American-made long-range weapons deep into Russian territory is of great importance for the end game, former senior NATO official Nicholas Williams told Sky News. According to him, such a step by the American leader was important in the context of positioning Ukraine so as not to make significant concessions that Russia wants in order to achieve peace. This is important. Ukrainians may say that it is too little and too late, but it is not too late to influence the end of the game, the former official believes. Williams noted that the Ukrainian armed forces will attack purely military targets of the Russian Federation that could have an impact on the border or in combat. Technical problems on an amusement ride at Knott's Berry Farm in Southern California kept more than 20 riders stuck in the air for part of Monday afternoon. The thrill-seekers were aboard the Soul Spin ride at the park when an undisclosed technical problem caused the ride to stop during its cycle. Aerial footage from local station CAPC showed riders strapped into their seats for a significant amount of time as park employees responded to the problem. Later. Workers at the park slowly lowered the riders to the platform, where they were able to exit the ride. Authorities say three people were injured aboard a single-engine plane that crashed near a Southern California drag strip where fans were gathered for the finals of a racing event. The Federal Aviation Administration says at least two parked vehicles on the ground were struck when the Piper PA-32 crashed around 11.40 a.m. Sunday near the drag strip in Pomona, east of Los Angeles. Four people were on board the plane, and nobody on the ground was hurt. The raceway is hosting the NHRA finals that began Thursday. 
Races were paused Sunday as emergency crews responded but the event later resumed. The FAA is investigating the crash.